Hey, it's Joe. Uh, the title of this video is Investing with Bad Credit. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little story about my experience uh, with bad credit. Um, back in 1991, uh, the SNL crisis uh, came about. I was investing in California, uh, living there. I had a, a $17 million business. We were building big houses up in the Hollywood Hills. I was flipping properties. I was buying into San Bernardino and Lancaster and all over the place uh, where I lived. And uh, I built and leveraged a big business using um, uh, using banks, <laughs> using bank loans. Uh, a huge mistake. I had good credit at the time. I had a lot of all my money sunk into these properties. I was completely leveraged out. Um, I didn't have much reserve. Uh, and then the crisis came. The values in California on these properties, and these were, uh, you know, six, seven, eight, nine million and a half dollar properties. They were big properties. Uh, and um, the values dropped uh, by 20%. Uh, on those properties. And I only had maybe 20% equity in those properties uh, based on the cost to build versus what we were going to sell them for. Uh, and the lenders came to me and said, uh, you've got to bring more money, uh, otherwise we're going to stop your construction loans. And they, uh, I didn't have the money, uh, so they stopped my construction loans and they started to foreclose on my properties and everything in my business, uh, everything collapsed. I lost everything uh, and I had to go through bankruptcy and uh, it was um, humiliating, uh, it was painful, it was, um, I would never wish, wish this on anyone. Uh, and uh, it made me, uh, it, it, it affected my um, self-image, uh, it affected um, my, uh, I, I moved back to Indiana and moved in with my parents. I was 35 years old at the time. I moved in uh, with my parents again and my wife and we had a, a new baby. Uh, I wasn't 35. I was 27. I don't know. I don't know how old I was. <laughs> but, but this is 1991. Uh, anyway, um, it was painful and it was humiliating. and. Uh, I'd never wish it on anybody. And one of the goals that I've had as a real estate teacher is to make sure this never happens to any of my students if they listen to what I say uh, and going through this process and trying to uh, fix their credit. But I've had so many people that have come to me and come through my mentor program and said, Joe, I sure wish I had talked to you before I made that investment or I did it that way or I, I took out that loan or I did, did those other things. Um, and a lot of people uh, over the years have uh, made mistakes and they've lost everything and they've come to me and said, I've completely trashed my credit, I've lost everything, you know, my wife left me, every, you know, all this stuff, you know, a lot more stories than what happened to me. I had a, I, had, I was lucky when I had a support system, I had a, a wife that stuck with me, uh, you know, God knows why. and. Um, you know, I had parents that, that helped us out, and I had a brother who gave me a car because my cars got foreclosed upon. Uh, you know, so I had a support system uh, that made a difference. Uh, and I had, uh, and I went to work as a real estate uh, agent. Uh, that's where I started as an agent. And I, I had to learn all over again how this stuff works. And I was feeling sorry for myself. Uh, and uh, until I was able to, and I know that some of you go through the same situation. You really, you start feeling sorry for yourself and you start feeling like, oh, woe is me. You know, it's just this huge pity party. Uh, and you gotta get over that. And the way you get over it is you take your eyes off yourself and all the problems that you have uh, and all the stresses that you have and all the worries that you have trying to, for me, it was trying to support a new baby, uh, trying to get back on our feet out in our own place again. Uh, trying to get all that stuff going again. Uh, and uh, I took my eyes off myself and I, f I decided I'm just gonna focus on them. I'm gonna focus on the client, the seller, the buyer, you know, the people that need my help. And if I can change my focus and I can try to solve their problem instead of my problem, I know I'll make money because of the things that I'm doing for them are things that will make me money. And if you use the structures and all the training and the teaching that I do, uh, it'll help you uh, be able to use structures that actually solve problems for people 
and be able to take your eyes off yourself so that you can help them solve the problem. Now, it's not going to require you to have credit. It's not going to require you to have uh, cash. Uh, you're going to do it completely through seller financing. Uh, and different, there's lots of different kinds of seller financing, and I've talked about them in the other videos. Subject to, multi mortgage, line contract, contract for deed, assignable cash deal, uh, lease option. These are the zero down structure hierarchy that you need to understand and how you need to learn. And you can learn it from these other videos uh, that I've given you. Uh, bad credit uh, does not mean you're a bad person. You are not your credit score. I was still a good person. I still uh, was an honorable man, and I still wanted to take care of my family, and and I, I was still loved by uh, my the people that loved me. And uh, you know, you're in that same boat maybe right now, and uh, it's okay. That will pass. Uh, I remember going uh, to try to buy a car uh, with my bad credit, and I went to the car dealership, and uh, they looked at my credit and said you can't buy a car from us. And they, they humiliated me even further. Uh, and this, this car dealer is still in my town. I drive by them, you know, pretty frequently. And every time I drive by them, I sneer. <laughs> uh, because I would have bought cars from them if they had taken care of me, if they had looked at me as a human and, and looked at the income that I had coming in, because I was starting to make money as an agent when the time when I went to try to get a loan. If they had looked at me as a human, uh, I would have done business with them forever. I would have been loyal to them and worked with them forever. But they lost my business because they treated me like dirt. And uh, I know that other people are doing the same thing to you when you try to go rent a property, when you try to go buy a car, when you try to go get a credit card, when you try to go get a mortgage for a property. They're going to look at you and, and they're going to try to make you feel small. Um, but. Uh, whether you are responsible for the mistakes that you made or whether they happen to you uh, doesn't really matter. What matters is that you try to solve the problem and that you learn to do it without requiring somebody else to give you approval. You know, you don't need somebody else's approval if you use the structures that I do. You give yourself the approval. You say, hey, here's what I can do for you. Here's how I can solve the problem when you're talking to a seller, when you're talking to a buyer. And they want to solve their problem, and so they'll be willing to work with you because you have credibility because of the way you talk and the knowledge that you have and the way that you're structuring the deals. It no longer matters that you have a 300 credit score or whatever terrible credit score you might have at this point. That stuff doesn't matter. Eventually, you're going to want to work on that credit score and you're going to want to improve it. And I've got a, a, a website, cleanyourcredit.com. I wrote a book on cleaning your credit. There's also um, uh, some other companies out there that are pretty good about helping you get your credit cleaned up. And you probably want to eventually do that because it'll make your life cheaper. You may want to go out and get a, a loan for your car. You may want to have credit cards again instead of just debit cards. Um, but in the meantime, debit cards are, are usable. Uh, you can go out and you could buy a, a car with uh, subject to take over the guy's loan. You know, if you go, if you get on a, on Craigslist into the cars that are available and you start calling every one of them, you know, uh, I'd like to, to, to trade on your car. I'd like to take over the payments on your car. Would you be interested? And you left that message. You're going to get a few people that say, yeah, I'd consider that uh, because there's a lot of people that have mortgages uh, or have loans on cars uh, that still have a lot to pay on them. And you could take over that payment uh, without having to qualify for it and then they could title you the property when the whole thing is done. Uh, so these are things that you can do if you work uh, with buyers and sellers rather than banks. Just cut banks out of the equation altogether. Don't worry uh, about your credit uh, because your credit does not define you if you don't allow it to define you. You know, I always like to re remember um, uh, Sam Walton uh, who built the Walmart stars. Uh, and and uh, he um, went bankrupt three times, uh, uh, maybe more than that. Uh, but he said, I don't trust anybody that hasn't gone bankrupt at least three times. <laughs> I think that's excessive. I, hopefully you never have to go bankrupt more than once. Uh, but, but it also makes you wonder, how did he build Walmart if he had bad credit? He did it because he figured out another way to make that happen that didn't require his good credit, that his personal credit. 
uh, and you can do the same thing. And if you build a business, hopefully you'll treat your employees better than he treated his. <laughs> uh, but um, but you can build a business that it, that requires no banks at all. Uh, and then when you want to use a bank, uh, they're going to want to come to you. Banks come to me all the time wanting to loan me money. And they do it because they make a lot of money when they do it. And I hate to give, give money. I hate to pay interest on properties. I hate to pay interest on uh, cars that I buy. I, I want to be able to get it uh, without paying that. And if I work with, directly with sellers, I can do that. Uh, if I'm buying a car these days, I can do it just by paying cash for it, uh, or trading in the old car and then paying the balance in cash. I can, I can do that now. And eventually you'll get to that point where you can do the same thing. You don't have to do that. But your car is not going to be a profit center. It's going to be an expense. Anyway, that's credit. Don't let it get you down. You can still do this business without it. Uh, if you're going through bankruptcy right now, you could start making money tomorrow and still do okay. Uh, so don't worry about these things. Just get moving forward and start doing deals and stop feeling sorry for yourself. Uh, this is a great business to be in. All right. Subscribe. Hit the bell and it'll send you an email every time I put a new video up. Uh, go to joecrumpblog.com, uh, sign up for my free newsletter. I give a lot of free information on that site. And uh, check out um, my mentor program, my six-month mentor program, zerodowninvesting.com. Um, I work with people personally. I uh, help you build your business. Uh, it's expensive. It's like going to college for a semester. Uh, and you, you got to guarantee me that you're going to do the work uh, if you're going to get involved. Because I don't want to work with people unless they're going to be serious about it and bring a good attitude. Uh, but uh, if you're willing to do that, I can help you build a business. All right. Good luck to you.